Actually, you hold an underground editor accountable. Apostrophe. Malima on Karima Brown matter. The F remains unrepentant in its stance on veteran journalist Karima Brown. In the wake of condemnation from fellow journalists, and the South African National Editors Forum Sanif. Brown seemingly posted an editorial brief in an F Media WhatsApp group by mistake on Tuesday after the party posted an invitation to an F breakfast with the elderly function, scheduled for Wednesday. Brown responded, Keep an eye out for this. Who are these elders? Are they all male, and how are they chosen? Keep watching brief. Quote, she later deleted the message. F leader Julius Malima later tweeted a screenshot of the message, which included Brown's cell phone number, saying, Karima Brown is sending moles to our breakfast with the elders tomorrow. She incidentally sends the message to the at F Sith Africa Media WhatsApp group, and deleted it immediately. On Wednesday, Malima, speaking to journalists, after meeting and celebrating his 38th birthday with the elderly in Akuhileni, defended his decision to post the message on Twitter. The Enka political commentator and talk radio 702 show host had earlier complained that she had received numerous threats since Malima and F spokesperson Biasani Ndlozi posted her number on social media, with some threatening to rape or even kill her. I think she is a state agent. But when Malima was quizzed on Wednesday, he said Brown have no privileges, instead questioning the meaning of her WhatsApp post, which looked like editorial notes. She cannot claim privilege of journalist. We cannot expose the number of an editor, or sub-editor, an assignment editor, or even a journalist, said Malima. What was she doing? That sounded like an intelligence SMS, where people are given an assignment to come and spy on the go-go's, quote, said Malima in reference to the elderly women who attended the event. He said Enka had called the F over the matter, but couldn't account for her role at the television station. We asked if is she an editor? No. A sub-editor? No. An assignment editor? No. So, what was she doing? He asked. Enka hasn't taken responsibility for her, therefore, she's working for someone other than Enka, Malima insisted. The F commander-in-chief said they needed to be told what Brown's position was, because they had nothing on which to hold her accountable to. How do you hold an underground editor accountable? He asked. I think she's a state agent, I think she's an operative, I think she is intelligence," Malima added. No individual should be threatened with rape. Malima also distanced his party members from the insults and threats that Brown had received, saying in an era of fake news anyone could hide behind an avatar on social media. No member of the F has attacked her, worse through the mandate of an F, quote, he said. He said he doubted it was F members who were contacting Brown. No individual should be threatened with rape. Those who do that should be thrown in prison and locked up for a very long time. Quote. He then went on to lambus those who viewed his party's supporters as being incapable of thinking. This narrative of trying to create an impression that F people are mental hospital patients is wrong. Quote. He said, I think the F supporters are well upstairs and can differentiate between wrong and right. They will never do anything to harm our democracy. Quote. When asked if he had called Brown to discuss his concerns, Malima said he had not, because she would tell me off. This is not the first clash between the F and Brown. She has previously laid charges with police against a party member, after receiving threatening messages, 